for this is no ordinary voyage you are contemplating. Few pirates have even heard of the shores of gold, let alone seen them with their own eyes. They say it's an island riddled with untold riches, ancient secrets, hidden tombs, and deadly traps. But you won't find it on any map, for it was swallowed up by the mists of the Devil's Shroud. This book is the journal of the pirate lord himself. It tells of his first ship, the Magpie's Wing, and the journey he took to find the mythical Shroudbreaker, the only way to part the fog and reach the shores of gold. If you dare to follow in the footsteps of the greatest pirate who ever lived, then take the journal and use it to find the wreck of the Magpie's Wing. It holds clues to the Shroudbreaker's whereabouts. Bring it to me, and I'll set you on your way to the shores of gold. But don't be fooled. Only the bravest, strongest pirates will make it back alive. I wish you luck. You're going to need it. <laughs>
the Shroud Breaker in my hands. I never thought I'd see the day. Something's wrong. There should be four jewels set in the base that grant the Shroud Breaker its power. But they've been removed. Without them, you won't last five minutes in that fog. Now let me think. I did hear tell that Captain Briggsy made it to the Shores of Gold. If that's true, she might know the whereabouts of these missing stones. Not that she'd ever say. Sometimes, even the best pirates fall victim to their greed or hatred, and it changes them. Strips the flesh from their bones, gives them power, but twists them up inside. Briggsy is one such abomination. People call them Skeleton Lords, and most pirates flee at their approach. Not even the Order of Souls dares challenge them, and rightly so. But you, you are going to have to hunt one down. I have eyes and ears across the Sea of Thieves. If you gather any of the missing pieces, I'll see they're restored to the Shroudbreaker on your behalf. For now, Head to Plunder Outpost and speak with Madame Olivia about Briggsy's whereabouts. Remember, skeleton lords are not to be taken lightly.